Hello, welcome to Seven Series Garden, where we talk about gardening, ways to save money, and other special events. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos. So today we're gonna plant butternut squash in container. Um, uh, to plant butternut squash, you need a container and you need a potting mix like this or a good compost mix. So here is the, the my potting mix, as you can see. Um, so good potting mix, you want to make sure it has all the nutrients, it has good compost, it has any other organic fertilizers uh, that you, um, uh, like warm castings and other stuff. So you want to fill the container up. I'm going to fill this container up to third full uh, because later on I will be able to um, add more compost in the middle of the growing season and also to give space so that when, when I'm watering, uh, the water doesn't overflow. So now we're just gonna fill it up to tell full and then we can plant our uh, butternut squash. So right now it's close to full. So now what you wanna do is dig a hole in the middle of the uh, container uh, to plant your butternut squash. So you dig a hole, um, that will cover the complete roots of the system. And here is my uh, compost, um, my fertilizer mix. Um, I make my own uh, fertilizer mix from rock dust, um, nitrogen supplements, calcium, and other uh, organic fertilizers. So now we're gonna plant our um, butternut squash. So you wanna put it in the middle there like that and then just close it up uh, just so that uh, the soil completely close the roots of the uh, of the uh, the plant. And then you, if you need to add more, you can add more. Once we water it, it's gonna go down. So uh, it's not it's not gonna be completely f uh, full, uh, even with the additional soil that I just put there, as you can see. So we're gonna water it now. And then once we water it, we can put it in the location where it's gonna get some good sunlight and also gonna be able to um, spread around. If you have a trellis, if not, if you have any other stuff that you can climb on, that would be great. So you want to soak it, uh, soak the roots very well so that way uh, the roots can continue growing in the container. So the next thing is we're going to move it to a location where it's going to permanent location where it's going to be and then just make sure that it has some stuff to climb on. I'm going to put it on the fence where it's going to uh, uh, use the fen fence as a trellis. So so this is it. This is uh, The water is going down. And so what I've just done is I've, I've added the, um, uh, I, I moved it to the fence and I added some leaves just to uh, reduce the amount of uh, water evaporation from the container and also maintain the moisture in the, in the soil. So I filled it up with a little bit of um, leaves and then I put it uh, where it's going to be. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's doing well right now. This is a week after it's doing well. So hopefully... Uh, with the temperatures warming up and, uh, and continuous watering it regularly, we should be able to see some good results in about a couple of weeks. Uh, and it should be climbing on this uh, on this fence, and it should start seeing some um, uh, butternut squash, maybe like in a month or two, growing from the vines. So this is um, how you plant uh, butternut squash in container. Uh, you want to make sure the container is as big as possible. Uh, so that the roots have a lot of space and also have a lot of nutrients okay that is it for today i hope you like the video if you like the video slash smash the like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share thanks for watching happy growing